This video is made possible thanks to the pump station and nurturery. Come visit us at 2727 Main Street in Santa Monica, California. You can also visit our website, pumpstation.com. Hello, this is Adam, the car seat tech with Infant Toddler Youth and the Pump Station and Nurturery. And in this video, we're going to show you how to install the Kleck Ling base using the lap and shoulder belt in my vehicle. Now, before you install your car seat, make sure to read the manual of your car seat and vehicle. So that way you know how your car seat works in your specific car. One installation is not the same in every vehicle. All right, let's get started. Now for the Kleckling, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna release the load leg. This is an extra safety feature and Kleck recommends using it whenever possible. We're gonna pull the leg out from the bottom of the base and we're gonna adjust this a little bit later. Right now, we're gonna set up our seatbelt installation. Our tension door here needs to be opened in order for the seatbelt to go through to get it nice and secure. Opening this door, Kleck recommends using two hands. One hand is going to push down on the door to release some tension, while your other hand is going to push down on the white button. Once you push it down, you can open it up, and you're just going to flip it all the way open. Now we can go ahead and grab our seatbelt, and the seatbelt is going to go through these blue tabs here. And make sure the lap and shoulder belt are both going through. So we're going to go one, two, and buckle. Make sure the base is right up against the back of the vehicle seat, and then we're gonna do some tightening. Whenever you feel like the seat belt is tight enough, we can close the, the tension door, push it all the way down, and you wanna make sure that these windows are showing green. That's how you know it's closed all the way. And to ensure the car seat is actually tight enough, you're gonna test it using one hand only, and you can use either hand. You wanna grab it on either side where the blue is, because that's our belt path. And you wanna make sure the car seat does not slide more than an inch from side to side or front to back. So on this base here, it is moving more than an inch. So I'm gonna open this back up and we're gonna retighten it. Now in my car, the seatbelt buckle is coming up really high, so it's not allowing me to get it any more snug than this. If you need to shorten your buckle, you're allowed to twist it a maximum of three full times around. It doesn't have to be three, it just can't be more than three. And that just allows us to get a little bit more space to get a snug installation. All right, so let's try closing it again. So we've got all green with one hand. We grab it from either side. And now the car seat base is not sliding more than an inch. Next, we need to extend the load leg so it's flat on the floor. There's a window on the front of the leg that's currently red. And once it's flat, it should be green. That's how you know it's at the right position. This white panel on the leg needs to be pulled out away from the leg. That unlocks it. So then we can extend it and drop it all the way down. All right. So once we got green, we also want to make sure the leg is not lifting up the back of the base. Um, and yeah. Uh, finally, we need to adjust the leveling device on the car seat. Now, in order to get a accurate reading on the recline, you need to make sure your car is parked on a flat surface. Kleck has a bubble indicator and three different sections, and you can choose the section depending on the child's weight. The first section is for babies between four and 11 pounds. So if your child is a newborn, it's probably gonna be in that first section. The next section is for children between 11 and 35 pounds. So if they're over 11 pounds, we're gonna adjust the angle to be in that middle section. And finally, there's a 22 to 35 pound range. So if your child is over 22 pounds, you have the option to sit them at the most upright position in that higher range. When you're ready to adjust it, you're gonna find this white button here. You're gonna squeeze it 
and that'll let you adjust the angle. And there's a bunch of different positions. So depending on the weight of your child, you can get the most accurate reading. Now that our base is installed, we can go ahead and pop the car seat in. The car seat needs to be rear facing. On the back of the base, you're gonna see this white tab here that's showing red, and it's showing red because the car seat is not attached yet. So once this clicks on, the red is gonna disappear. Clec also wants the handlebar to be at the most upright position whenever you're in the car. If it's not at the upright position, you're gonna find a white button on both sides of the car seat. You have to push them both, and then you're able to move your handlebar and make sure you get it at the most upright position. When you're ready to remove the cleckling from your vehicle, on the back of the base here, there is a sliding white tab that you're gonna squeeze with your thumb. This white panel, you're gonna squeeze with your fingers. And as you're squeezing and holding both buttons, you can now disconnect the car seat from the base. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow the Pump Station and Nurturery on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. All the details will be in the description below. See you in the next video.